It was at the start and still is now the only accredited program in Canada that offers a degree in sustainable design engineering at the bachelor's level. They're learning firsthand in a project-based, industry-linked, team-oriented environment to uh, work with real external partners to actually learn engineering by doing engineering. And I think it's one of probably one of the reasons um, that we hire so much out of the school here. So I'm Trevor Spinney. I'm the president at CMP, Charlottetown Metal Products. They start in year one with projects. So they're already used to working with customers on developing and understanding scope, working collaboratively with, with team members towards a common goal of you know achieving that project. With the project-based learning and with the design course where you have a client that you actually work with and you're trying to solve a problem for them, that's what I'm doing now at uh, CMP and that's what I did here at UPI for four years. Yeah, so the engineer and training program, which is referred to as EIT, uh, that's part of the path progression from student to professional engineer. Uh, for us, it's important that our engineers um, do enroll in the EIT program. Really, the culmination of all that is when you can finish your coursework, take your exam, and, and, and get granted a professional status. So there's 37 competencies that you have to meet in order to become a PNG. So that's one side of it. Another side is you have to take an ethics exam uh, within one year after you graduate. And then you need um, other professional engineers to supervise you and sign off on the work that you've done. And so after that and four years of experience, you can become a professional engineer. It's, it's many things, but I think to our company and to our customers, it's just that extra something that, that our engineers bring to the table. At Charlottetown Metal Products, I'm a, right now a project manager. Uh, part of our vision when we created the bachelor's program here at UPEI was to give opportunities for our students to uh, stay, live and work here in PEI, um, which we are seeing at this point and uh, that's uh, been a real success story for us that we're proud of. Trying to attract engineers onto the island is always difficult uh, and the opportunity to, you know, keep engineers here, train them here and then have them stay here afterwards, it, it keeps the keeps the folks you know, focused on the island. Uh, we've since added a master's program in sustainable design engineering, and now most recently have just added a PhD program in sustainable design engineering. At the end of the day, design is the thing that we focus on. Our students graduate with a degree in sustainable design engineering. And there's lots of, lots of great things happening here, um, and a lot of companies like our own that are, that are growing um, exponentially. So we need that kind of resource um, here available on the island. For me, it's so exciting that I've had this opportunity to be part of a plan to grow what was then just a diploma program into a full degree program and now a full suite of degrees at UPEI in Sustainable Design Engineering. Mm -hmm.